What's going on, real? This is Trey. And it's Tasha. Man to the real, where we always keep it real. Invincible. Season 1, Episode 5. That actually hurt. So, y'all know where we left off last time. Ain't no predictions with this show. So, we just gotta see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe if y'all like the content. And mm-hmm. our full reaction will be on Patreon. Subscribe. Hey, make sure you turn on your post notifications. Click it. Make sure it's on always. So you don't miss any content over here on YouTube. Let's get into it. I say not. Who was this? Huh? Mr. Lou, next time I find him on our turf, I won't be so gentle. How he gonna tell? That message was. For you. I was like, how he gonna tell him I'm anything? Stupid, kid. I'm cutting you. A- Go. He works for somebody, but he didn't want to do that. Because if you notice, he said this shit on fire after they was outside. Like, Just trying to keep the city safe. And then he let that kid go. What? Oh, crap. <laughs> you know what? Don't bother. I quit. What? Mr. Sayer, there's a rat in the mayonnaise again. Do I look like I care, Sam? Grayson? Grayson? <sighs> now what? Mark, you have to scare him. Make him think you'll actually drop him. I can hear you! I don't know, that, that seems mean. All right, here, I'll show you. <laughs> huh. There, see? Uh, now he'll tell me everything. Okay, but you're gonna catch him, right? Yeah. In a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shit, are you? Winslow, uh, hi. Mr. Grayson, if you're planning to attend college, we need to have a conversation about your... Y'all role. really got him when the school is named after him? Uh, what if I'm not planning to attend college? Your lives want minimum wage. When exactly. You fire your guns in the air, say you tried your best, and we all walk away happy and alive. Mm-hmm. I hear that shit. Oh, what the fuck? Not even scratched? Not bad for a guy with gravel for fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's nice. That's That works nicely. I don't need your money anymore. Sure you do. Come on, like you're gonna go clean? Work the fry station at Burger Mart? That ship has sailed, amigo. This is your life now. This is what you do. No, it's not. You're a walking pile of rocks. You break heads. That's it. That's all. Own it already. See, I know but you're gonna like keep working machine? for it. The question is, how painful do you want it to be? This train? Now just throw it back into space. Yeah. Hope it don't fuck up How another plane. Save the world, or at least the country. By the way, that was a small one. That was a small one. Yeah. I'm gonna do better. I promise. 
prove it. Oh my god. Thought we was about to be her mama. Damn it, Mark. Oh. Hey, Dad. Mark, I'm watching the elephant rob a store downtown. He'd be perfect practice for you. I'm not really in the mood. Mark. That's his daughter. Of course, why are they trying to make it out menacing? I know, right? Did somebody ask for butterscotch ripple? Good. Means we still have service. <laughs> We're not out, are we? Nessa, it's not that simple. <sighs> Don't. We felt good that he was keeping you safe. The fuck? But now that you're not even part of a team... Rex cheated on me! Teen team broke up. They're both over. It happened. Forgive him. What? All guys make mistakes. Oh, you Don't are a piece a of shit. Don't be a bitch. You're an 18 year old girl. Excuse me? You can't do this hero bullshit on your own. Samantha! Don't you leave that door there. <laughs> you missed a few letters. Pain costs money and you got a long ass name. Oh, you're that guy I stopped from robbing a bank a few months ago. My name's Titan. Oh, you're you're out for revenge. Who's your boss? Machine Head. That's not a real name. Huh. Of course you haven't heard of him. You're a rich kid from the suburbs. What? No. I'm, I, you don't know. Come on, man. Machine Head runs this city. If it's illegal and it makes money, it's mm -hmm. his. And when people need to die to keep it that way, he's got muscle like me to take care of. Yeah, you know, I'm more like a big picture superhero. You got somewhere to be? <clears throat> this is some bullshit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> either, man. Yeah, in the way he came, he said this is some bullshit. <laughs> You'd be making a huge mistake. What? Why? Because he's using you. I'm not an idiot, Dad. I know when someone's lying. Titan never wanted to be a criminal in the first place. He has a family. I think his daughter's sick. Even if that was true, you're a Viltrumite, okay? You fought off an alien invasion, saved the country from an asteroid. This is beneath you. Is anything Mom? really beneath the hero if he's supposed to be saving everybody? You know, I'm not helping. You don't understand the choices we have to make. You're not a superhero. When you first came here, you didn't know anything about humans or our society or what was important to us. And? I taught you all that. I showed you how to be a hero here. And suddenly you think I can't do that for Mark? That's not what I meant. I just, I think Mark is putting his trust in someone he shouldn't, instead of listening to me, to us. I took care of Isotope. How? He's got a girl he sees a couple of times a week. I paid her extra to keep him there all evening. What? Oh, okay. So we break into Come on the house and grab Machine Head, then what? Don't you got friends who can keep a guy like him off the street? If you have a sec, could you pick up a few things for dinner? Well, I was thinking some tagliatelle from that restaurant in Rome, and maybe that wine from Provence, the rosé. Now I just yeah. need a few minutes and got him going all over the country. Bro. She finna go look for this suit. Now her just needed twenty, but he gotta go around the world for her to be nosy. Bro. <gasps> Bro, this I I'm tired. <laughs> That's a little bit. Mm. What the? Fuck? God damn. <laughs> Who the hell? Shit. Oh shit. <laughs> you have no idea. Bro. What is an infant?
Damn! Not him just watching. What is wrong with him? Who's next? What is wrong with Mark? Hello, boy. Yo. What if his dad told him that they were coming? I can see that. Wow. 10 out of 10. You guys, you guys are worth every cent. Wait, wait, I'm getting something here. What? Oh wait, where they come from? Cecil got an anonymous call. I wonder how you're gonna see this guy. Like, 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 Damn! Oh, how you disappoint. Killing you is an act of Now dad gonna intervene. Hey! Asshole! Oh! Damn! They gonna do Mark like that? Shit! His dad really watching this shit, bro. Is she dead? No. Did they just kill Black Samson and Monster Girl? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell is happening? Now y'all want to work like a team? What the fuck? Oh shit! Choke his ass out! Break that shit. Pathetic. This battle is beneath me. There is no honor in killing insects. Not him dipping. <sighs> no. How your dad watch it? He see him. I hope you remember that. I hope he. he I hope the guy that. he remember that. He gonna remember that. What's the name of this episode? Now that really hurt, or this really hurt, or some shit like this. this. What in the whole damn hell? They beat I the shit out of Mark. Pray he remember seeing his dad there. I'm gonna make this shit better for a lot of people. Some people come first. Bitch, I'm finna go. Are you serious? He set all this up. Any progress? Jesus, that bad? We've tried everything. Drugs, viruses, bacteria, prions, even nanobots and radioactives. Viltrumite cells don't give a damn. They just won't die. Well, keep trying. I, I got a feeling blood's still the answer. That's where he fucked up at. Okay. So, so is Mahershala Ali Titan? I just realized he... Is he the Titan one? It might be. Child, fucking tired, bro. Like... This goes to show me that your planet ain't shit. Like, you over that line like they help other planets. There's no way. You wouldn't even help your own son just now. So, they, they y'all planet, y'all take other planets. Y'all don't help them. Like, y'all be fucking shit up. I'm tired. I'm so fucking triggered. Like, he sat there. He was like, he knew, like, he could tell that something was off with the dude. 
he didn't want him. He didn't want to tell him. But bitch, I even bought the story. I'm thinking he out here trying to do right by his wife and, and child, and you trying to be the boss. Like you know all what he doing, so you could take over and do it. Like, and you let all this shit happen. Yep. But like, how smart you got to be as a regular person to put yourself in this situation against a computer with quantum mechanics, and then still come out alive. I ain't know it was gonna go down like this. I hope you make it. So you, the person you tried to help, fucked you over, and your daddy fucked you over. So they can't be destroyed. So if they can't be destroyed, how are they going to beat Nolan? They probably can't be destroyed. It's just that nothing they've tried has worked so far. That's why they kept the alien thing that was alive, remember? Because it was like he had him on the ropes. You keep that because you can't figure it out. It's probably going to take something alien to beat him. Probably nothing y'all got, yeah. Um, They're I superior did. to humans, so you wouldn't have anything that could beat him. Yes, you do. His son? Yeah. But he damn near just got bodied by all these folks. Like, what? Is some dramatic what have to happen to him to be able to beat his dad, though? And it ain't happened yet. Mom dying. I said that already, though. I already said I was nervous about her. But, like... That's going to push him to his full strength. It's a lot of shit going to push him. Because when he realized this dude just fucked him over... And then you realize your dad was there and ain't intervene at all. All that shit gone. He a kid. All that shit finna start messing with him. Then this girl probably gonna break up with his ass even yep. though he doing because he can't tell her what he doing. And, and I get it because they kids. It's like you don't know what's going on. You don't know he a superhero. You know what I'm saying? And he not telling her or can't or won't or whatever. So it's like mm -hmm. you only see that black and white when you young. You don't understand the gray yet. Yeah. She looking at it as though you say you care about me, but you're not showing that. So it got to be something else going on. You got to be talking to somebody, else. right? And she gonna think it. She probably gonna think it's Eve, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But this was a lot. Like this fucking episode triggered me though. Like, hopefully the girl and the man pull through at the end. Um, the ones that's on Black Samson and and Monster Girl. <laughs> Ripped the whole like, shit off. I thought he was gone. Like I thought she was gone too, but they taking them like they not, so I don't know. I just feel like that was a lot. I like how it took two of y'all teammates almost dying though for y'all to work as a team. Like I get that y'all three were previously on the team before, but like well, even the, they had the little Adam girl too though. Like she was working with them, like she'd been on the team with them forever. But mm, if they pull through, I'm guessing they'll fix shit. Yes, but, what Black Samson was going to do without that suit, though? Like, he really ran up without that suit on. Like, what you was about to do? I man, I don't give a fuck about nothing. The thing that's pissing me off about Robot, though, he has emotions. Like, he's a robot. I don't know if there's a person controlling him. You know what I'm saying? Like, or if he's just created to develop. You know, like how you could create AI and he's starting to develop emotions or whatever? Because he was real upset about that little girl. Like, he was upset about all of them, but he was real upset. And I'm like, y'all keep throwing robot jokes at him like he not human. Now he finna do something extreme because of trash-ass humanity yet again. Always trying to make somebody do some shit or talk shit about shit you don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, he a robot, but he has feelings, obviously. Because he would have just been like, oh, y'all got body. <laughs> it's too bad. He wouldn't have gave a fuck. He would have just kept fighting till he couldn't no more. He actually cares, though. So, But yeah, I thought that thing at the end... Was his body just hooked up to something else? Like, it, not this episode. It was an episode we already watched that he was looking at. Like I thought he was it. looking at the thing where that man was. I thought he had already did something to that one. So when he woke up, it would have been him. But oh, I you guess mean the blue thing? Him. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about the blue thing. It was another little blob looking thing in a tube. But I thought that's what that was before it fully formed. Mm -mm. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Him, but I thought that because he was watching that guy and he that was what he was in the process of doing. So, but I don't know. Either way, it's whatever. But it it's some shit going to pop off. My whole thing was though with like mom trying to find his suit. You're not going to know anything unless you get it analyzed to see. Like if you take it to Cecil, which I don't understand how they didn't check it or do whatever at first. If you already had suspicions. You know, I get everybody was in the room fighting, so everybody did, and they gonna be on it. So, like, what are you looking for exactly? 
Are you looking to see if there was another person's DNA on it? Is it just the people in the room for sure? Like, I'm trying to understand. They already said that it wasn't nobody else in the room, so I don't know what they were looking for as far as the suit go. So. And why he even bring it home and put it up there? Why you ain't burn that bitch? What you keeping it for? That you want the souvenir? You like them serial killers? They like the souvenirs? Like, what the fuck you even keep it for? Like, y'all be trying to get caught. But he ain't from this earth, so let, let me go. He ain't from here. He don't watch CSI, I guess. Like, I guess mom forgot about that hide the evidence talk, so. But. Hide the evidence talk. I'm sorry, not hide the evidence. Get rid of the evidence, because he hid it, but you shouldn't have. And then you hid it, like, on top of the blinds or some shit. On top of the curtains. What if she was dusting one day and that shit just fell down? Bitch, if she was in Texas, she would have to dust every week. <laughs> every couple of days. Like, what is happening? That shit, she would have been dusting with the little Swiffer and that shit just, oh, what is this? Oh, Nolan. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, I'm trying to understand these decisions. Real quick, we want say the name one time. Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know that's how you be like if i do something then i'm like trey what what is this <laughs> she would have had the little white boy no Lynn, what, what is this <laughs> no she be cleaning good because she be cleaning them houses she a one woman oh, team so she does yeah, so how curtains. the fuck did she miss that she ain't dust this week that's all it is she too fucked up right now but it's been months though it's been three months since that boy got his powers i don't know if it, it's been three months since they've been dead yeah I mean, but you got to think about her shit on her plate, too. She probably wasn't thinking about it like that. But, and they don't stay in Texas. She ain't got to dust every week. She might, you know, it might take a while. But I just, this shit, like, scares me because we're on episode five. I don't know how many episodes they have this season altogether. I'm assuming, like, when Amazon first seasons be kind of short, it's going to be 10 or less for sure. So we either halfway like, through or we almost through. Yeah, but, I feel like we probably got three more Because these episodes are kind of longer, too. They're not like little 20, 30-minute episodes. So, I don't know. I feel bad. I, I feel like at the end of the day, even though that's his wife, I still feel like if he had to, he'd take her out. <sighs> He's not from Earth. He don't have them human emotions. Like, yeah, she might have taught him, and he might think he'd be in love, but if she hit the fan... You just let your son almost get bodied. Like, how, you want me to think you going to care about your wife? Like, nah. But I don't know how this going to go. Because you see she had to fucking direct this man like seven different places across the fucking world to get him gone just for 20 minutes. How she going to sneak? You can't sneak in them situations. And who put the anonymous phone call in to Cecil to get the other people to show up? Like, was it the dad or was it the... Titan. Titan. That's what I'm saying. Like, was it him? Because he didn't know the shit was about to escalate like that. But, y'all, this shit got me tricky, bro. I'm go. Thank you for the support, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Full reactions are on Patreon. Mm -hmm. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Switch it to always. So you always get an up, a update or a notification from us when we upload a video. Join yeah. the Discord. Yeah. Twitter. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Real. You already watched, so you might as well subscribe. Please.